Hello everyone, welcome to RPA Learners and in this video we are going to see how to sort a list using Power Automate Desktop. So let's get into Power Automate Desktop now and here we have a list already created in the previous if you follow the previous videos we already created a new list and we are using the same example here as well. So now we have a list let's see how we can sort them uh, go to actions panel and search for an action which is sort list which is in the variable section here sort list drag and drop it here now the sort list has only one input parameter which is the list name what is the list that you are you want to sort you need to provide that list which is list and if you read it here it will sort the uh, if you read uh, if you hover here or somewhere I will show you that what it will do is it will only arrange uh, these in ascending order and let's see uh, now we have 5 6 8 and 8 let's change it to 9 and see in which order it is actually sorting them let's execute this and see uh, the first we will see the count and then the list what is the list that is present in the flow variables the execution is started and there are total four values in the list and you can see the list is five six eight and nine and if i click on ok then then also it is 5, 6, 8, 9 because uh, those are in the same values. Let's change uh, 6 to 3 and see whether it is uh, changing the order into the ascending order or not. The execution is started and you can see the count and then it is 5, 3, 9, 8, 9. And you can see that uh, it is changed the list which is 3, 5, 8, 9. This is how you sort. Uh, it will sort only in ascending order. And there is another property which is sort by list items properties. If you enable, if you hover there, it, it shows if uh, your list item objects contains any properties, then you can also sort them basing on those properties. Let's say if you have uh, files and folders, we have created time last write time and those are the properties that holds those files so we can actually sort them basing on those uh, properties as well and here they given us three different uh, properties you, you can use three different properties for sorting them and the first property second property and then what is the sorting type whether it is an ascending order or the descending order and the third property so before uh, changing this let's create another list which contains a list of files for getting the list of files use uh, get files action which gives you a list of uh, files uh, present in that in, in a folder so what is the folder first you need to select the folder type where is the folder located the folder is uh, located in a desktop this one and I'm, I'm taking all different types of files in that folder so I'm not changing any file filter let's save this and you uh, here in the advanced section you can also sort them basing on the different conditions as well now as we are seeing for the sort list action let's go with that and you can move it here and you can also see here in the flow variables we have files list if I click on sort list and this time I will select this one sort list items and then I will also input uh, the file list this is the files list Let me drag it a bit yeah and the first property that I am looking at is the creation time let's say uh, we need to get sort those uh, files basing on the creation time of those files firstly we will see the ascending order either later we will see the descending order as well and let me copy 
the message box and paste it over here so that will be more visible or or let's see we will see that in the flow variables as well so after executing it uh, first what, what it is doing it is getting all the files from the folder and then it is sorting those files so it sorted those files let us see what are the different files that are present there there are three different files and it is sorted in one two three because of the ascending order and if you click on more here and if you click on more then you can see uh, the different parameters that are associated different properties that are associated with that particular file you can see the full name name extension these are the different properties that are associated with that file exist is empty read only last modified time last access time the creation time we use creation time in the second property if you want you can use the last modified time as well or the last access time and these are the different properties that you can check and now let's change it to descending order instead of ascending let's change it to descending order and then let us execute this and see whether uh, we are getting the correct output so now in the ascending order we got 1 2 3 now we need to get 3 2 1 the image 3 2 1 so let's see uh, what is the output now you can see the output is 3 2 1 so this is how uh, uh, the list uh, sorting of a list which consists of different properties happen these are the two different types in the sorting one is uh, normal sorting where you provide the list input on the other type is where you provide the different properties to sort those files as well and this is how you sort in for automate desktop that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more more videos thanks for watching